I've been in now for about five to six months. So I feel like I can kind of now speak on some of the pros and the cons really just have this transparent and intimate moment with you all on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned because it's about to get real. All right, you guys, as you see, I'm literally in my bed. Honestly, this past week, it has just been, it's just been a week. I straight out off of the holiday. I got my days mixed up. You know, on my other business, I have a lot of work that I have to do. So I've kind of been um, chilling out as far as like with the signings. But I wanted to bring you guys this video and I wanted it to be really chill and really lax and not produce. As you see, I literally have on a hoodie you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm chilling. Damn, I could at least get a tripod though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So first thing guys, let's talk about the money. Clearly that's why a lot of people are getting into this business now. You know, with the pandemic, folks have been, you know, losing their income and I totally understand. I was in the same situation. And honestly, the money in this business is good. You may not be making six figures out the gate. This business is definitely something that what you put into it is what you're going to get back. The good about the business is that, you know, there's money out there to be made. You know, there's plenty of opportunities. There's plenty of signings right now. You know, the money is definitely out there to be made. The only thing that I would say is a con is that always feeling like you have to be on the go. You know, some days I just don't feel like taking any signings. Back to back to back signings, like that shit gets tiring. Excuse my French, but it gets tiring. For somebody that may have more obligations than me, I can see how that could e eventually become, I'm not gonna say a problem, but a headache. You know, you'll, you'll get worn out having to constantly feel like you have to go, 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 make this money, make this money, make this money. I think that there, you just have to be sure to have a balance. You know, when this, when you're in this business, you definitely have to make sure that you understand that it's time. You know, you have your days when you want to go hard and then you have your days where you know, you just want to chill out for a little bit. I think balance is definitely important. I did speak um, with one of my direct clients and she was like, I can't see this lasting for, for you know, too long. Because I was asking her because she's been in this business obviously forever. And she was like, you've been busy, haven't you? I was like, yeah, I've been super busy. And she was like, yeah, well, definitely take advantage of it because I can't see it being like this forever. And that let me know, you know, that obviously there's going to be some you know, down times. I see that kind of throughout the, the business throughout the month anyway, like the beginning of, of the month, you may get a lot of hits. It slows down towards the middle. And then at the end, like right before the last day to sign, you get a lot, a lot of, you know, a lot, a lot of hits. So I see that trend throughout the business in general. So the money is definitely out there. Just take time for yourself. I'm at that point now where I'm just like, okay, I've been on 10 this month i just really need to just kind of chill out and another thing i want to talk about um in regards to pros and cons in this business that kind of has to deal with money is your expenses you're definitely going to have expenses in this business there's just no way to get around that there's i don't think there's not any business that you start where there isn't going to be some sort of overhead to actually keep the business moving forward i definitely think having a reliable car is necessary because you're on the go so much you're in your car thankfully gas prices are wonderful and it's not too high in most areas but um you know you have to keep in mind paper toner you know clothes because you want to make sure you have the appropriate attire you know and just little things like that making sure you have a good computer you know your printer you know what i'm saying and then god forbid if something were to happen and that printer breaks down, you know what I'm saying? It's just little things like that that you have to, you know, prepare for and, and also keep in mind that, hey, like I have to, money has to be put here and I have to be sure I have, I save money to put here. So, so yeah, that's just not anything that's going to um, go away. Like I said, with any business that you start, you're going to have overhead, you're going to have um, constant e expenses that you need to keep the business going. And the notary loan signing agent business is no different. 
it's absolutely no different. Also, um, another thing that I, I really want to talk about is Lake Dots because for me, this was super, super frustrating. As a notary loan signer agent, you always want to be sure that you do your best work because honestly, how good you are is truly a reflection of how much money that you'll make or how much business that you will get. So starting out dealing with late documents to me was just so frustrating because I, I, I just never like to go into situations where I'm not prepared and getting late docs is definitely like a situation where it's like, okay, am I going to have time to go over the docs? You know, I ain't have the time, but listen, I made time. I just called my signer and was like, look, I just got these documents. Give me a time to print them and to review them. Then I will be right to you. So I will be whatever, 30, 45 hour late, whatever the case may be. I made time. That's what I did because I know me. For you, it may be a little bit different. Thankfully, I will say now that I'm a couple months in to the business, late docs doesn't really affect me that much anymore just because I'm more familiar with the documents. So I can get late docs. I don't have to tab. You know, I stopped tabbing because again, money. I stopped tabbing. I stopped doing all that stuff because I was like, listen, time is money. Okay. Time is money. You know, I had to adjust so that in situations like that, you know, I it wouldn't put me in too much of a bind, but definitely that was something that was super frustrating. And I know for some of you guys, it's probably frustrating as well especially as you start start taking signings and things like that but you know listen you have to do what you have to do i see a lot of your questions and the comments and a lot of those questions honestly um it, you, you you just have to do your research guys you you have to know the notary laws in your state like the back of your hand. In order to be a good loan signing agent, you have to be a good notary. That's what Mark Royal says, and that's absolutely fact, okay? And I'm saying all this to say is just that, you know, all sometimes and a lot of times, it's not just gonna be super easy. Like, even when you do get those late documents, there may be something wrong with the documents. Are you gonna be able to, you know, point that out? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just little things like that. You know, it's trial and error. Like, I've had a lot of trial and error here as a notary loan signing agent. Not even going to lie to you. There are some things that I didn't know. I asked questions. I called who I needed to actually call. You know what I'm saying? I messed up. You know, I corrected my mistakes. I had to go back to some people's houses a couple of times to fix my mistakes, but I'm still getting work because I do what I have, have to do to make sure that um, I come across as an agent that's professional, you know, that owns up to my mistakes and I'm just able to get the job done. Outside of everything that I just mentioned, guys, the notary loan signing agent business truly is a great business to start. As an entrepreneur, a lot of it also is your mindset. I'm going to do a separate video about the mindset of a loan signing agent or just as an entrepreneur in general because this takes a lot of work and I never want to mislead anybody on this channel to think that, oh, this is just so easy and all, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't know if I make it look easy, <laughs> but it's a lot of hard work and you definitely have to have the right mindset and you just honestly, you just have to be responsible with your money um, in order to see a growth because right now, you know, I'm starting like last month was really the first month that I was really starting to see true growth in my business. This month, I'm probably not going to make as much in my notary loan signing business just because, you know, one, I, I want to do more videos for you guys. And two, I just need a break. I mean, it's it's the holiday season. I just need a break. OK, 2020 has been a year and I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for 2020 to be over with. Like, I just want to sit my wine, watch my Netflix, have my hot bath, sip my tea or whatever the case may be, and just chill. Like, okay? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. This month, I'm going to have so 
much content for you guys to prep for the new year. Also, don't forget my game days. My next game day is this Saturday, December 5th. That means it is only $5. So I need you to email me. All the information to sign up for my game day will be in the description box below. Let's talk about this. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wanted this video to be really laid back. Put my sweatsuit on just so that y'all know that, you know, this is real. Like, this isn't like some get rich quick. Like, this is some real, like you are starting a, a business. You are a business owner, okay? Thank you guys so much for um, supporting my channel, for watching this video, and just all around being awesome individuals and humans. And I appreciate you. Until next time, peace. <laughs>